We artists are not like the common strain of humanity. They can live easily in a world of huggle-buggle, but not we. Our labors are très difficile. Our thoughts are profund, and we need what Henri Matisse called calme, luxe, et volupté. Calm, luxury, and a certain mm, je ne sais quoi voluptuousness of experience. Without these simple things, the world is deprived of our artistry. I moved to Ocean City to vouchsafe my love of the filmic arts to become, as it were, an auteur de la cinéma. The gentle waves, the beautiful sky, the fragrant air, all contribute to bringing me to that state of mental acuity where the muses may stir me to dream flickering images of sweet poesy. But just when I begin the work which shall make my name live forever, it begins. No! The old men of my neighborhood have such an infernal array of noise-making implements and it seems that just as one finally ends his labors, the next elderly gentleman picks up his leaf-blowing, edging, weed-whacking, fertilizer-implanting instrument of aural torture. And there is never an end to it. Sunday morning. Thursday afternoons, Monday evenings. Really, how can anyone expect to work under these conditions? You must see my point, don't you? For the love of art, please join me in the following proposition. All old men in Ocean City will be permitted to make their gardening noises only between the hours of 8.15 and 9.35 a.m. on Tuesday morning. I, incidentally, am eating my cereal at that time and hoping for good results from the previous day's Metamucil intake before beginning my film work at precisely 9.36 a.m. I and my fellows in the creative arts give so much to the world and we give it so selflessly. This simple request is the least the world can do for us. Don't you think? Thank you.